How's it flying, guys? This is Lance Corporal 30, and welcome to episode 12 of season 9 of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Magic. <clears throat> I don't know why I felt the urge to do that. I just felt like Tammy Mr. Bean for a second. Okay, so this is episode 12, The Last Crusade. Hearing the word last in reference to this season, because there's a lot of lasts in this season. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, I had a slight spoiler. Today of all days. Not by Dr. Wolf. I have him temporarily unsubbed so they can avoid the these spoilers. But at the very least, I'm watching the episode on the same day, so it won't be so bad, but... Of all the people that I expected to be, get a spoiler from, I did not expect a tweet from Aramau, the fiery secretary, to be what told me a slight spoiler. Now, I imagine this is something we're going to learn. <clears throat> that what I was spoiled on is going to be very... I didn't read into the details. I only saw, like, the first couple lines of her tweet and like, nope, no, 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 I'm not reading no more. I'm not reading no more. But, yeah. For those who have not seen it, go watch the episode yourselves first. And then come back. Okay? Okay. So. Yeah. Watch the episode. Before you watch me react to it. Just do it. <laughs> Always support Hasbro and DHX Media. They are the people who make this show possible. Who have made it possible. Um, I saw also saw on Twitter. They're, they're all wrapped up. They're all wrapped up with production. All the episodes have been recorded, filmed, and are ready to go. So I'm like, wow. Ugh. I'll probably make a separate video about my thoughts on the show, at least this generation coming to an end. But anyways. Um, yeah, also, reminder, I'm going to be in BronyCon. So if any of you guys are going to be in BronyCon, let me know so we can maybe hang out at some point. Say hi to each other. Pictures. Uh... Or at the very least, just say hi. <laughs> Anyways, uh, on to the episode. I forgot what your name is, but you're excited. Hi, Scoot. You did? Really? Really? Not to. Ah. Ah. <clears throat> so where's Scootaloo's house? Aunt Holiday. <laughs> She's Mozzie, you see. <clears throat> All right, so we have a we have a character from Mozzie from Australia. What's the? Uh, I don't know what the. I don't know what the uh, equestrian equivalent for Australia, or New Zealand, or New Zealand is, and I'm probably going to get some Australians and New Zealanders. Uh, giving me some weird looks going, you're butchering the accent, mate. I'll stop, I'll stop. <laughs> but yeah. We see Scootaloo has an aunt, which means she has parents. I already knew this, that's what I was spoiled on. So there, oh, let's see, all those fan fictions of Scoots being an orphan, they can just shoot. Bye. I guess now there's those can be considered AUs, alternate universe fixed now. Continuing. Well, I could use that kind of help. <laughs> Come on, Auntie Lottie. You already have your team. Lottie could have done me. I can't decide what theme to give this quilt. I've run out of inspiration. <laughs> Other aunt? <laughs> Visiting? <laughs> or. Let's 
Alright. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Hi, Derpy. <clears throat> well, where have they been? Okay, this gives new theories. If they're gonna say, oh my lord. So Scootaloo just been, I'm gonna quiet this one. Um, I don't hate the intro, for the record. I think it's alright. Um, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, so I wonder if they're gonna try to pull a fast one on us with Applejack's parents, or if they're not going to explain diddly squat about the parents, because I want to know what happened. Did, uh, they dead? Were they lost somewhere in uh, the Bermuda, Tri uh, Bermuda Triangle or whatever? Or have they actually just been away on business? That would be so stupid if that was last one was the case. I can accept them being dead. I could accept them being... Having been lost due to some magical incident and no one knew what the heck happened. That one, I think, would be the most plausible thing to happen. Other than them dying, which is also what we've some supposed happened. But if they just say, oh, we've just been away on a trip for all this time. No. Turn the sign back on. Today, we're going to learn about the Pegasus Weather Factory. But every pony is in their seats. I know you're excited, Scoots. The factory specializes in snow, rain, sunshine. Nicole Dubik. Dubik. I don't know how you pronounce that. Dubuk? Dubuk? She doesn't know what they do, does she? I'm calling it. Or maybe there's some weights to that one. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Because my folks are her dead freak is a freaking crocodile, crocodile hunter. Fanfic writers, do you're a keyboard. Fanfic writers. Sheesh. His accent sound as fake as mine probably did. I don't know. 
I will withhold criticism because I don't. Mm -hmm. I hope we didn't interrupt anything. No, I have nothing to say. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Lucy, I'm so breathe, breathe, cheerily, breathe. You got a bugbear up in there too. Maybe I spoke too soon about his accent? It sounds okay. Like, it doesn't sound like a natural Australian to me. Not quite. But it's decent. If it is a faked accent, I think it is. And if it's not, I'm sorry to have insulted whatever voice actor did that. Okay, first of all, what did she say? What Lanka? Sharlaka. Okay, obviously a Sri, uh, Sri Lanka, but okay. The Last Crusades. Oh, 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 oh. Now I can see probably why Aramau had uh, issues. Well, I didn't read her entire tweet, like I said. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I just need to double check to make sure that this is still recording my camera movements. It... Yeah. Yeah, it's a little. Looks like it could be a little sputtery, but. Still moving. Um, hmm. I'm gonna withhold on saying anything further until I see a little bit more. No, you can't. Oh, my gosh. don't know what's happening but you will yeah
quick note, quick note, I hate to do this already, but quick note, the never see her again, not necessarily the case, as her parents did, okay, now I'm probably gonna be changing my, I might be changing my mind here coming through, uh, like, okay, so, so first off, Scootaloo's always been here, we, ever since the introduction of the CMC, she's always been here, any change like that's gonna be like, no, we don't want it to happen. Real life happens like that a lot, wherein the children don't always have that choice. Either because... Either because... you Like, say, with military families, example. They, like, a lot of military families move around the country a lot, depending on where they're sent. Well, depending on where the military wants the fam wants the enlisted to go, and the family has to move with them most of the time, and it can happen wherein a kid gets used to living in one place. Like, there's a lot of changes. I went through that cha change a lot growing up. I'm not even a military kid. My folks, the first memory of my of the first house that I lived in, it burnt down. I moved down, to, moved to another town down in Georgia. Uh, we moved from there back to the neighborhood we used to live in, different house, obviously, and then we moved from there up to Alaska, where I had no friends, no family, none of that. But me, my newborn baby brother, my year younger sister, my mom, stepdad. That's it. It's where I've made my best friends. It's where I'm currently residing. But that's a really big change. I'm not saying that it's a, always a good thing. So, yeah, I can kind of sympathize with Scootaloo. I can sympathize with Scootaloo, because it's like, no matter where I move to, I'm leaving something behind. If I leave Alaska, I'm leaving my friends and my mom behind. If I go back down to Georgia and leave there, I'm leaving my dad, my sisters, uh, one of whom is about to have her first baby this year. Literally a month after BronyCon, who knew? Um, and all of my family down there. I, okay, so I'm, I'm starting to feel more sympathetic towards Scootaloo now. Now I'm feeling a little more upset as to why her parents are doing this, but it, uh, my point is it happens. It happens a lot in real life, and we don't always get those decisions made. We can't always make the decision ourselves, like, when we're kids. It's all the point I'm trying to get across, I guess. up and down. Might want to hold on to them for a bit. The dad's. I don't think the dad's, but. I don't know if they're buying it. Y'all better go. Book it. 
Yeah, I was gonna say, you're either gonna snap or snap back. Oh, she, she only got a day. Merchandise. Yeah. I think it means you'll stay best friends no matter where you go, and that's really sad. But we don't love you, Sad. Yeah. The same sentiments I have about my friends. Like, my best... One of my best friends. Like, I still consider him one of my best friends. He's like my first friend I considered another brother. I, he, his house was the one I frequented the most. At, I literally only went to like maybe two other friends' houses during the entirety of middle and high school. Hit throughout the entirety of middle school before he moved out of state. Literally, every other weekend or every month I was at his house. He was my first. I mean, I'd take a bullet for this dude. And I have other friends who are like that, of course. But he was, like, the first one I did that with. You know? And it's like, I can still... Like, even on... Here's how strong our friendship is, I believe. Even on the day of my brother's death. it had, The news had literally just been delivered to me maybe a couple of hours before. Maybe an hour before. He called me up when he saw on Facebook, and we we hadn't talked in months before that. He called me up, and he managed to get me to laugh. I was in the worst place you could think. I had just gotten the news that my brother had been killed. And here my friend was, that I hadn't talked to in months, managing to get laughs out of me. That's the kind of person you take a bullet for. That's the kind of person... It don't matter where you go. It doesn't matter how long it's been since you've seen each other. I haven't seen him seen him since middle school. I haven't seen him since then. It's been what eight years since then. I'm trying to think of it. longer. I think it's been ten years. Goes to show. It really goes to show. Holy crap. That kind of bond. I'm fortunate to have that bond with this person. And some other friends that I have. I, I can't provide them as an example. But I have other friends who are. I am just as deep of friends with them. And I have that same kind of bond I feel. But anyways back to this episode. What are you doing? Oh. Oh no. Um. Y'all gonna get stuck together, ain't you? Knew it. Oh boy. Apple Bloom, y'all can't live like that. Oh, 
Oh, how would that be? Y'all might want... Yeah. you might want to call a cab to get there. Or whatever the equivalent is. Oh. We just sold the house, Scoot. I know this is hard to accept, but you... It's more than hard! It's not fair! The only thing that's good between my family and my friends! Oh, Scootaloo, moving away won't stop you three from caring about each other. Why don't we sleep over with Sweetie Belle and Applebee tonight? It'll give you a chance to say a real goodbye. But I don't want to say goodbye! You're changing my whole life! Oh boy. friends they're willing to do whatever the hell they gotta do in order to stick together I do admire that there are the knit there are the obligatory things in my head like a one thing there is one thing that does that is in my heart and that's what this rep and that is what she represents here's the thing they are loyal to her, but Apple Bloom is also loyal to her family, who has a business to run. Ugh. Yeah, and I don't know about what Scootaloo does. I mean, when was the last time we saw her parents, now that I think about it? Season two? I know it was the first time we saw them. When was the last time? I can't remember. Um, I'm gonna get back to the episode, but yeah. I will make note though. Their children running away from home without consulting anybody yeah you're all gonna be in trouble Oh. That's not it. Shire Lanka. That's derpy for you, but... Okay, where are you going?
Uh, boy. Okay, I see what direction they're going. I just want to show you something before we go. Alright, but let's make it quick. That train won't wait. Wait, Celestia, flip it. What is all this? It's Sweetheart Birthday and Appreciation Day, but we couldn't start without all the music. Oh, well, they got the whole shebang to get a whole group together. Wait, where's Twilight? These three ponies share a rare ability to help others find their true purpose. It's a job only they can do, and only together. That sounds familiar. In honor of all they have done and continue to do for the ponies of this town, I would like to present the Cutie Bar Crusaders with a three handled key to the city. <laughs> key to the city? That ain't gonna work for nothing legitly, will it? A full Wonderbolt salute? Oh, I'm not sure you know just how important two Luna friends are, little brother. But you're about to find out... Holy crap, it's... Of all the things for me to notice right now, it's the Bieber pony. Uh, well, he's not talking or singing, so we could be good. Wait a minute! He's gonna talk... Oh, there's Twilight and Rarity. They did. Oh, so you're gonna have she's gonna be sporting something new. Duh. Duh. Hi, Derpy. Okay. There's a lot to unpack here. Oh, boy. Um, so I've already gotten my thoughts out a fair amount. What I... That would not happen that way in real life. I'm sorry to bring the cold hammer of truth down. Reality can suck sometimes, and that would have not happened like that. I do not see... 
how that would have... That sure as hell wouldn't have happened with me. This could be my personal experience speaking up for itself. That would not have happened. That's not realistic. That's fantasy land. It's not bad. But at the same time, it also is gonna show kid. I'm, I, I worry about some kids t trying to take that lesson too far is what my thoughts are on. I don't hate the episode, don't get me wrong. There are, like, <laughs> the moment I started hearing Scootaloo go talk about her dad, I'm like, eh, I think she's making it up. I didn't believe it. And then we saw the crocodile. I'm like, never mind, he really is the crocodile hunter. Oh, the fan fictions that will spawn. Oh, uh, everyone's going to be putting that or the all the orphan fix to rest because look at our world. We got the freaking crocodile hunter daddy. <laughs> oh, there's there's going to be good fix tonight, ladies and gents. Going to be good fix tonight. Well, not tonight at the time of recording. Weeks down the line, most likely after Hasbro's had their look at this and decided whether or not they want it public. I hope they will. They've been making my uh, my reactions public, so th uh, thanks for whoever's been checking on me at Hasbro and approving. I, I wish y'all could get it done a little quicker, so I didn't my fans didn't have to wait. But I'm sure, we understand. Anyways, but yeah, that would not have realistically happened, and that's my biggest issue, I guess, and. The, I think my worry is that this is going to plant in kids' minds that that is a high possibility as long as you can talk your way. Because some people are, would not, a lot of people would not do that, would not take that route as parents. They would either have their kid go with them, or and yeah, most likely that would be what the case would be, because that is a child. Granted, now she do, Scootaloo does have her aunts there. To stay. So, now I can actually see what Aramal actually tweeted out. Alright, so, okay, so Aramal did not l care for them. Um... Who boy says, I am very unthrilled with today's episode of MLP Fem. I just, I cannot get over how much I dislike Scootaloo's parents. The only thing I like is that they are tributes to great wildlife conservationists and researchers, Steve Irwin and Jane Goodall. I am angry at them, though. And then I would see... Okay, now here is where... I'm not going to entirely agree with Aramal. I mean, I like Aramal, but this is something where, like, that's realism. That's realism that's going to creep in there. And, I, I like, I didn't mind the parents. I didn't mind that they were the way they were. And I got what they were trying to do. And Scootaloo literally has been living without her parents for how long has this show been going on? And all of a sudden, a chance pops up where she can spend time with them think about that think about that for just a minute we have no it's not just us that haven't seen her or anyone around town their daughter has gone that long without her parents think about that think about that take a long hard th thought about that and their parents are not bad people they have a job that they take passionately that does help the world. They're not bad people. And they want to spend time with their daughter. And what? All of a sudden they're bad because they want to take scoots with them so they can spend time with her? Do you know how many limbs I would have cut off to have spent time with my dad? When I didn't have a single choice? I saw my dad one month a year. For 12 years. One month a year, 12 years. That's not a spine. 
that is not enough time to spend with your dad, who does care about you. Her parents, I can tell they do care about her. They care about her enough that they're willing to not spend time with her, as shown here. I disagree. I, no one wants to be put in that position where they have to pick their friends over their family. I've been in that position. It is not fun. I'm an adult. I can make whatever decisions I want to. Scootaloo is a child. A minor. She's not even a teenager yet. Am I saying she absolutely... Sh has no choice but to go with them nine times out of ten in real life that would have happened i'm not saying that i would prefer to see that because that would mean we miss out on some scootaloo being in this final season and none of us wants that none of us wants that we want to be able to see as much of these characters as we can but i also do not think that what they were proposing was bad she wouldn't be able to see her friends for some time that's true but she would be able to spend time with her parents who she loves and has not seen and who knows how long. I think that's the point that Aramal was missing in that. I'm gonna... This... Ugh. I still think... Okay, I'm gonna get past that. What were my thoughts on the episode itself and how good was it? We're going to have memes tonight. We're going to have memes. We're going to have new fanfics. We're going to have some good fan art as well. Especially the parents. I did not mind the episode. I thought it was a decent episode. Good overall. I thought it was an interesting way that they could manage to convince the her parents. Shows like, oh, well, she's kind of like us in a way. So. But I think... I also do, like, I have my concerns, as I've already stated, but overall, I thought this was a good episode. Not a bad one, a good one. Again, I'm not in a complete agreement with Aramal, but the, everyone's going to have their different interpretations. You may agree with me, you may disagree with me. You have that right. I'm not going to take that away from you. In fact, feel free to post in the comments what your disagreements with mine are. Go right ahead. I'm not against that. Anyways, I'm going to call this one done, though. Overall, good episode. I feel, feel like they probably could have spent more time thinking on certain things, but we have what we have. So what did you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Like if you enjoyed. Comment your thoughts and opinions on this episode. Subscribe if you're new. And tap the bell to get notified whenever I upload a video. That way you don't miss any reactions, gameplay, or otherwise from me. And also go check out my Discord. Link is down in the description below. Come join and have some fun. Let's talk. This has been Lance Corporal Hawk 30.